from Western Superman. He's a carpenter in the daytime. And tonight, fighting for the red corner, it's Mike Crossfire. tonight who's 28 years old. He's from Oldham Common. He's a leisure centre manager in the daytime for fighting for the blue team. It's Ben, the Raging Bull O'Brien. So Peter Markland, our referee, calls them together for the second bout. The Blues, Jake O'Hagan's Blues, are one up. And once again, the red corner, Mike Crossfire Crossan has a height advantage over Ben, the raging bull, O'Brien. So Blue are one up. Can Andy Cleese make that one all with his fighter, Crossfire Mike Crossan? And again, they're straight at it. And Crossan throwing heavy right hands, trying to back O'Brien up. O'Brien ducking low there, he'll have to watch that, I'm sure Peter Markle will pick him up on that. And again, as Crossan comes in, O'Brien looks to fire back and they get into the clinch. And I'm sure Peter Markle will break them if they can't break cleanly here. And he warns O'Brien about hitting on the break, just telling him when you break, break clean. And away they go again and Crossan looking to go head and body, left to the... Head right to the body, and it's a good tactic, backing his man up, scoring points. And again, O'Brien, the raging bull, ducking low as Crossan comes forward. He'll have to watch that, you can duck into an uppercut. But a good stiff left hand, the first of the fight from O'Brien. But again, it's Crossan pushing forward. Those lefts to the head, those rights to the body, then he doubles the right to body and head, and it's a good start from the red corner. And again, just out of range, O'Brien with his responses here. As Crossan nips in and nips back out after doing his work, it's a good tactic. Landing his punches, scoring, and then moving out of the way of the heavy hands of O'Brien. And again, Crossan comes in with the left and right. They're having success. So a good opening so far for the red corner. And O'Brien will have to get his timing right as Crossan comes in for his counters. At the moment, he's just out of range. And again, crossing the double right, this time to the body and head once again. And it's one-way traffic at the moment as he backs O'Brien up, but it stirs O'Brien into action. And he fires an uppercut in, but it doesn't quite land, and this has been the problem for him. Crossan's found the range quicker. And he's more accurate, and he's throwing more leather as well in this opening round. That said, right on the bell, a good stiff jab from O'Brien, but overall across the round, Crossing on the front foot, throwing the combinations for me, took that opening round. And O'Brien will have a lot to do to catch up here in the second because Crossan got his distancing right, got his timing right and got the combinations off. So here we go for round two of potential three. Mike Crossan, the carpenter, 24 years of age from Western Supermare. I felt took that first round with his consistent work in combinations. And O'Brien will have to match that, the leisure centre manager, 28. And he's having a go in this round, but again, Crossan comes forward nicely, throwing those lefts. But this time, O'Brien is happier to counter and throw more quickly. He's closed the gap quicker, better tactics from O'Brien, making Crossan think in this second round. Nice head movement as well from the man in the blue corner. 
And as you can see, what it's done is it's made Crossan think about coming in so rapidly, just warned about holding there from our referee. As O'Brien looks to his corner, we'll probably tell him that's it, keep this up, this is better. But again, nice left-right from Crossan. That was the success he found in the first round. It's bread and butter, but it's effective. And again, he pushes the jab out to the face of O'Brien. But each time he comes forward now, O'Brien starts to swing leather. And that's been the difference, his timing as Crossan's came in, as you saw there with the left hand, just as Crossan came in, but a nice right hook from the man in the red corner. Much more even round the second here, as O'Brien settled down into a rhythm, but still the straight punching of Crossan for me, just the edge. And again, you saw with that jab forcing O'Brien to duck low as he threw the right hand. So although O'Brien is more into this round, I still feel that Crossan has got the edge by sticking to his discipline, sticking to straight punches. But a nice little left hook from O'Brien, he's definitely in the second round, but takes a heavy right hand from the red corner, and they clash heads accidentally, they've got the head guards on, as Crossan looked to follow that up. And again, it's Crossan the man trying to come forward. As I said, the difference this round is that O'Brien is throwing more leather in his defence, but the accuracy is still for me with the red corner, and he's edging this second round. Gum shield there. Our referee looking to see which corner it's from. It's from the red corner. Peter Markland hesitant there to pick it up. And away they go again. The gum shield's back in. And again, the stiff jab of crossing to start, and that's what's caught the eye here. And right at the bell, that jab for me sums it up. A much closer round. Ben O'Brien a lot more in that round, but still for me, the better work and the more consistent work from the red corner and Mike Crossan. So I've got him two up with one to go. So here we go for the third and final round. As I said, I've got red two up, which leaves for me Ben O'Brien needing a knockout. Now, if he's going to get that, he's going to have to fight like his namesake, Jake Lamotta, who was the original Raging Bull, and really get inside his man and start throwing heavy leather, which he's trying now. Big left and rights from O'Brien, which is what he needs, and he's landing, and suddenly Crossan is in trouble for the first time in the fight, and it's exactly the right tactics from the man in blue. He needs this round. In fact, he needs more than this round. He needs an eight count or a stoppage, and he's certainly going for it. And suddenly that right hand has got through, and then the left hook as well, and for the first time, Crossan is knocked out of his rhythm, and his discipline goes a little bit for the first time when he's under pressure now. He's got to get back to that stiff work. He's just pushing his man away at the moment. As you saw there, a double-handed push. And that's because for the first time in the fight, he's under real pressure. And don't forget, these men have only had a 10-week training camp before they step through the ropes. That's better from Cross and a big right hand just when he needed it because he was in danger of being swamped by O'Brien's work rate. And O'Brien, he needs to do exactly the same thing again. He needs to get straight back in and land those heavy hooks. Close the distance. Don't give Cross and time to work. And away they go again. Crossan's recovered his composure now, looking to work behind that left jab again, but it's just ragged for the first time in the fight. He's dominated the first two rounds, but just beginning to look ragged now here in the third. A lot of energy expended, but then he gets through with two big, big rights. And O'Brien, the raging bull, responds, and so does the crowd. Excellent third round from both men. The best round so far for O'Brien. But unless he gets a count or stops the man, it's not going to be enough, I think, because in the first two rounds, Crossan worked well be behind that jab and straight right, and he's gained a big right hook from Crossan. The second one skims over the head of O'Brien. As we count down the end of this round, both men will be happy to hear that final bell. A lot of effort expended. Best round of the fight so far for O'Brien, but I still feel that Crossan's done enough, even in this round, to make sure he gets the win, unless O'Brien can cause an upset towards the end here, he's certainly not for lack of effort, uppercut attempt there but the gloves were high and the power has gone from both men finally right at the bell but what a great little scrap, 
And again, O'Brien, his best for me was the third round, but I don't think it's enough. I think Mick Crossfire Crossen will make this one all for the red corner, two rounds to one at least.